the swollenicity of it, how much bigger this one is. And everybody, so a disaster. Fixed the bike, but the back tire now has a puncture out of nowhere. So the tire has is flat, completely flat, which is great. Just what I wanted. So front tire is fine, back tire is flat. So now I'm going to be late for work. So I need to get the train. Great, doesn't matter. I can't even get the pumps to pump it up either. Yay! Hey, joking. So. <sighs> What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Coffee time and time to start work. My leg is a little bit sore, not lie, and it is getting bigger. We now have a balloon for a leg, which is great. Um, swelling only means one thing, that it's getting better, I hope. Anyway, time to get to work, and I'll see you all in a couple of hours, where we will chat more about my balloon calf. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna help you guys see what has happened to my Achilles is, but I think it does. Let's try it outside the shoes. Oh. See what we get. Can you see the swollenicity of it? How much bigger this one is, all through here and here. I've literally lost what I've got cankles. Uh, so yeah, that is my swollen ankle. It is pretty bad, very red very aggressive um can you see does that make sense uh so yeah it is pretty badly swollen it's not a sore now it seems to be easing off i've used i've had a few ibuprofen don't think that's how you say it i've briefed some anti-swelling tablets um i've used some deep freeze on it which i don't like and it's just gone a bit red and a bit aggressive. No stretching, I've been told to not stretch. So I was doing so much stretching last two days, which is apparently not what you're supposed to do. And I think that's why it got so big and why it got so swollen. But it's feeling better, feels a bit more lubricated. Doesn't feel like it's scratching like it was before. I feel like I can move. That's me going up on my toes. I, I, know, I can feel it, but it's not sore. Anyway, I'm gonna put my slippers back on because I can't actually have any laces in these shoes because my foot is actually the size of a bloody balloon. Well, not my foot, but my ankle. See, uh, normal, skinny ankle, big fat ankle. Anyway, I will see you all in a second. Oh, what is up? We are in from work. I am bathed, I am chilling. We're just about to have salmon pasta with some sort of carbonara sauce. Uh, that's last night's beans that I've accidentally left overnight. But I feel good. My leg's starting to come back to me. Um, I won't be running tomorrow um, and it is really annoying not running today like it sort of sends you through a loop and you go through like a range of emotions that are just like crazy no little doggy he's just come to say hello he's probably gonna sit on the floor next to me but your brain just goes like a little bit nuts like the day just started off terribly like when I went outside I spent two hours fixing that bike yesterday to go outside and the back tire to be flat <sighs> so I bought a pump which is over there that's it it's there it cost like 12, eight or 12 pounds from Evan Cycles and it's done a magic. So the tires are fully pumped up. So hopefully they'll last till the morning. I can get on the bike and start getting cycling because I'm gonna need to cross train because if I don't, I'll just start stressing out in my head because I'm in like a place in my head at the moment where I just want to exercise. I wanna stay fit. I wanna stay on top of it. I didn't do all this running for all these weeks to blow it up. And <clears throat> that's not necessarily like chasing trying to run just got to be really sensible and think this is where I'm at now I've got an ankle the size of the moon and I just need to be careful yeah, the swelling is going down the pain is going down by the hour which is brilliant but I'm not going to rush because I'm a rusher and I tend and I tend to just rush into everything so um for the 18th time today there's my huge monster calf where I've now got like lines from my socks and stuff but I've tried to keep them off all day but that's a weird little line I've got there that looks more like a impression I told you just sit on the floor next to me but yeah it's massive compared to this this one which is normal um but I am noticing my skin is quite red um 
but yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed, really. That's pretty much it. I'm just annoyed that I did that session on Monday that I didn't have to do. But if I didn't do that session on Monday, I would have done it at some other point in the week. It would have happened, whatever. So anyway, time to stop moaning. We've just got to keep moving forward. Today was not a great day to start, but I'm through it. The day is over. Not every day can be smashed out of the park. Some days you just have to get on with it. I'm sorry this video isn't very long today. Everything that I had planned to do, like cycling to work and talking about that and how that felt and stuff, was thrown out the window when my tire was flat. And I'll be honest, I did lie on the on the on the wood wooden patio outside and just look up at the sky for like five minutes and just and it was freezing. And I was just like, what do I do to do to catch a break this week? And sometimes that is the problem. You don't catch a break, but you've just got to get on with it. And my moaning about it and thinking about it just makes it worse. Anyway, like, subscribe, I'll see you all tomorrow. I've talked enough just at you today. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.